Welcome to the channel ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm bringing you the ending of Underwater Explained. Now it's not by me, it's actually by the director himself, William Eubank. I was able to interview the director, lovely guy. Uh, I've got a link to the full interview down below in the description box. But this is excerpts from that interview where you can really get to grips with the ending of the film as per the director, the creator's mindset. Uh, and it does answer quite a few questions which you may have had. So please do sit back and enjoy the ending of Underwater Explained by the director. And yes, please, please, please do check out that full interview, uh, like I said, which is linked down below and above in a card. But basically, yeah, spoiler alert, this is a secret Lovecraft love yes. story. <laughs> yes. Uh, where you get to see Cthulhu briefly at the end, which, mm. you know, I, I love, like... I can't believe that. I, honestly, where that happened... He was uh, written in the script away. As, as a big like whale-like creature, a massive mm. behemoth. It was yeah. called the behemoth. And in designing the movie, we're done shooting, but we never obviously shot the behemoth. Yeah. Because we're going to do them later. Um, I just basically was like, well, you know. And even the designs of the little creatures changed a little bit. The earlier they were like more squid. -like. Oh, actually, there's four. There's four. There's a, you see a okay. squid-like thing lash out at her at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So that thing, when she's lost, it's kind of mm. like a squid tentacle thing. Yep. That was almost going to be the original creature. Ah. But it wasn't good. It wasn't scary enough. And my buddy, mm. uh, Andy Muschietti, who directed It, yep. one of my closest filmmaker friends, we were watching some early stuff one night and he was just like, I don't, I don't think that's scary enough. And mm. I was like, I don't think so either. So. <laughs> We were early enough in the designs that I was able to shift more to a mystical being, which I just knew, mm. I knew right away. I was like, I knew right away that like, if someday we find footprints or something like that at the bottom of the ocean, that's going to scare people, mm. you know, not just like a weird creature or a big, you know, yeah. Whatever. I mean, that... So that's where I, we started going Lovecraftian and I was like, mm. I just knew I was like, well, I'm just going to make these creatures. And uh, I'm not really going to tell anyone what yeah. they are. I'm just going to make sure they get designed this way. <laughs> and it was like, they're already done. Like the big behemoth is already done. And the, the little creatures are like living in its skin, which was, you know, kind of taken from the idea of that frog with the things in its back. Yeah. Know? Okay. And, uh, you know, I don't know. There's really no mention of that in the Cthulhu world or anything like mm. where the little beings are like part of him. But, um, I just was like, all right, well, making Cthulhu here, it's just something that happens to them and they can't explain it. And that's where the cosmic horror comes yeah. from. You know, right when you see it, you're like, oh, this is this is horrifying. Yeah. And yeah. I really wanted something like on the, the little guys, which the first one you see is like a little, um, he's like a little, uh, like a baby one that, you know, they burrow yeah. into people and eat them or whatever. And then they'll grow up and be a bigger one. But yeah, yeah. Uh, he... Uh, yeah, just I really love the idea that they kind of were like, you know, these big, they could just like expand their bellies like the way a starfish does or something mm. and just absorb something or. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, yeah. I like that. Like it was because um, I didn't quite expect that to happen. Yeah. When it, when it starts eating. I'm like, <laughs> just gulping over okay. her, you know, like. <laughs> it's like okay, yeah, yeah, this is happening now. Good Lord. Um, <laughs> there are there are clues to that happening i think um like the the opening credits the opening crawl with all of the like newspaper clippings and things like this and it looks like there's something that it, it, to me it looks like someone's built a backstory whether it was yourself or um someone else in the edit bay or something like that they've there's a bit of a backstory there with the the company they they know something's happening there was the old shepherd yeah. station yeah maybe yeah, they yeah. encountered something before they and, did yeah they did um, so basically, the captain who at one point was on the shepherd station, something had happened, and some of this actually sort of exists because it had to get cut out just for time purposes. But in a way, it was okay with me because it was like one of those things that felt you know, like like laborious, really, at the end of the day. And while some people would be like, "Oh, okay, that makes sense," a lot of okay, other people yeah, would yeah. just be like, "Oh God, they're just explaining to me all this stuff that happened." So, anyways, yeah, in my story, in my head, 
um, he be, they they had bored into something that was super weird before abandoned that station mm. you know probably closed it up didn't know but it was really creepy and you know if it's Cthulhu there's like weird stuff that could be happening and I mm. I loved the idea that maybe he was hearing like he just, obviously losing his mind or maybe even hearing his his daughter who had passed away speak like how creepy yeah. would that be if you bore down into something and then pretty soon you're like hearing like your daughter's voices and yeah. stuff so he people had kind of gone mad there tn energy covered it up and they just mm. kept working and moved locations essentially okay all right they literally just abandoned the station and then yeah w went off um okay yeah and shepherd was cool it was a mobile station so it was like I wish you could, like, the art shows what it really looks like in the movie. It's just lit okay. up, but, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. like a little crawler, anyways. Ah, uh, okay. Um, that's, yeah, that's interesting. You can't, you can't really tell that from... No, you can't. It sucks. The but, movie specifically. Yeah. But, um, good that that's thought a little bit more on it. With, if you with, look with really art. hard, like, when she turns on all the orange lights, you see the mm. crawler pieces there. But yeah. most people will just think they're, like post or something yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and you can there's there's like some what appear to be like ruins as well um what, what look to be kind of like ruins um yeah those are like old mining expeditionary you know station mm. stuff that they built my feeling is this has been going on for so long and then the way I put it together is they like build stuff up at the top of the surface and then they just drop it down and it sinks uh, okay. and then they piece it together yeah 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 okay that's interesting um so and to, to get more into kind of the the spoiler territory of the 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 monsters and things like that is what um what's the the thought process behind the the absolute end sequence uh with cthulhu and the explosion and um well, and kind of what is happening there? Because Cthulhu is the one which moves the drill, isn't it? Right? Because the, yeah, they, they, there's just, a comment about the drill moving. going, that's too big. Exactly. Like, how yeah, would that huge. go down? Nothing could yeah. move something up and out like that. Mm. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, he just basically is breaking up and out. But I'm curious, you said people had like theories at the end. Like, what yes. kind of theories were people talking about were, were happening? Okay. All right. Yeah. So, so let, okay. Well, this I guess is kind of it like, almost seems like it could be open up because it cuts back and mm. it's happening to her or something. Is that what you mean? Or well, okay. So, so this is a bit of a, a an ending explained with a discussion with the director himself. So this this be interesting. So, um, so I've seen a few like uh, a, a few people. There's, there's a few theories which, which are floating around, which are actually, um, they, they've said a lot of what what you have actually just said and elaborated okay. on so there, there's sure. um there's the comments of shepherd station and um the, the 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 company being aware of something going on and obviously covering it all up yeah uh that there no one has outrightly said that it is cthulhu but you are happy to confirm oh that yeah. is cthulhu it is the yeah. great dreamer himself yes um i'll show you my and Lovecraft guidebook right here that my bulldogs have chewed up. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like how they just totally destroyed it. It's like, what the hell? Anyway. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, and so, yeah, so a lot of people have said uh, there's, there's obviously like a theme with respect to Christian Stewart and being able to uh, put herself before other people or other people before herself and things like that because of the opening shot of the the explosion in the hallway and um, the chap having to basically tell her to close the door right um, rather than you know uh, uh, basically putting herself before other people kind of loops back around at the end when she then chooses no I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna happy to to, to kind of kill myself sort of thing to allow you guys to right you know, right to, to kind of jet set up um, into into safety hopefully but probably not because Cthulhu's I presume Cthulhu is still alive. Is that is that right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, look. <laughs> that, Can't kill a god. Only air, really. <laughs> I'll say this. So I did have that note that like, because they didn't really know it was Cthulhu, my mm. bosses per se. They did later, but they're like, okay, well, she ha the thing has to die. 
at the end mm. and i was like okay well because in my mind i'm like well it's cthulhu you really yeah, can't yeah. kill him <laughs> 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 so that that's why he's sort of like ambiguous like to them he's trying you see his wings there too by the way like that's where I, yeah, if anyone yeah, yeah. was ever wondering, I was like, mm. "This is where you definitely see Cthulhu's wings," <laughs> um, which to them might have been fins, but you'll see they're big wings. Mm. Anyway, so he's crawling out, and I just made it look like he's he gets pulled back into this enormous blast, but yeah. I left it purposefully, like you just kind of can't tell. So that way, you know, you can't really kill a god; no, you, you can't. just can't do it. So. No, no. Um, Look, it's satisfied that she killed him, but in my head, uh, you, it's, you can't kill Cthulhu, so he's just getting going. But um, and um, and I guess like the closing. So when is this set? When is this movie? It's like set? very ambiguity, like ambiguity yeah. future, basically. And 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 um, uh, what is it they're mining for? What is what is the whole kind of world part of it? Why are they down you know, there? Why are they down it's, there under the yeah, threat? A lot of people say like oil creatures. and stuff, but I feel like by then we won't be using oil. So mm. for me, it was like thermal energy, mineral debris stuff. I had okay. I had all these awesome pieces of art of these actual huge tanker ships that would just raise stuff to the surface. Mm. We never really got into that, but um, they were like huge sludge ships that would just, you would take like almost kind of like from Dune, like where they're mining the spice, you know? Mm. I feel like yeah, in this yeah, world, yeah. they're just mining some other like crazy mineral that we find down there. But it's easy for people to just watch a movie and go, oh, yeah, oil, whatever. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you know, but it's basically minerals. Okay, um, all right. Uh, but yeah, so at that very end shot where you see her, uh, you know, I just wanted like, you know, it basically uh, for me personally, it like, even though you just saw, you kind of cut back because it's like the mm. one shot takes place. But I just feel like it's just sort of a blip back to her going again into that mind's eye of like, all right, yeah, I'm sacrificing myself. But like mm. in that moment, she sort of awakens in a way. It's like, mm. you know, you. it's like this moment is a thousand moments, basically. Yeah. Uh, kind of like at the end of the gray, you know, it's like, yeah you yeah. know he's probably gonna die but at the same time there's so much life to still be had in that final mm. moment of death you know yeah yeah it was almost like an epiphany in in in, in that sort yeah of last yeah. few moments right so thank you so much for watching i apologize that it ended somewhat abruptly but like i said check out the interview which I have linked down below and above. And if you enjoyed this quick video, then please do give it a like and a share. Like I say, everyone else's Ending Explained videos, they are all merely guesswork. This is direct from the director himself. So please do give it a like and a share. Anyway, and as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I have been Mr. H. Take care.